Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to introduce you to the concept of jazz. And I'll give you a foundation, a basic foundation that is one of the most important foundations in understanding jazz, which is the 251. 251 is the progression that you need to understand very, very well because it is the root of jazz. And what is 251? It's Re, So, Do. That is 251. You know, Re, let's put it in the chords of it. Re, So, Do. That is the concept of 251. Just Re, So, Do. So I'm going to expand in this idea of Re, So, Do to show you how it can be used in jazz. In fact, one of the skills that you need to know as a must, if you want to truly master jazz, is to be able to understand this resodo in all your keys. Because when we say that the foundation of jazz is resodo, it doesn't mean that you hear this resodo the way I'm playing it. But it means that that is the concept that is being driven when you play it in different, different angles. For example, I can play resodo and play another re sodo, but it may not sound to you like a re sodo. For example, this is re sodo, watch. You see, it's the same re sodo I did twice, <laughs> but in two different keys. So because of that change of key, it almost gives a different vibe as though I'm playing something new. So I can do that in many different ways and all of a sudden it sounds new, 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 new. Now that's one idea. Another idea of why these two five ones can sound new and even everlasting is the improvisation that you make on them. And these improvisations that you make on them may not also be something new, new, new all the time. It may be a particular kind of progression that you play on one, but when you change it to another angle, you play that same kind of progression and then it sounds different because they are not the same notes. So let me just uh, give you certain uh, ideas of this 251. So for the 251, remember I said in the key of C we have Re, So, Do. Now for the Re, always make sure that it is a minor servant, meaning Re, Fa, La, Do. So, Re, this is our 2. Alright? That is one extension that you can always use in the 2. So, Re, so for now let's just use the normal so and then do do now you can add if you do you can add that me it's called ninth it's like added ninth so that is one extension you can add but for now since i'm just giving you this for the first time just put do normal minor servant but later on i'll explain to you why adding this can be interesting because of the improvisations that you later do then for your so, you play the dominant seventh so, which is so ti re fa. Or if it is in the key of G, we say do mi so to so. So re. Then. Okay. Re. See, re. You see, something like that. I added that mi now on that re. Okay. So for your so, remember, dominant servant. And then for your do, you play major servant. Do, mi, so, ti. Now sometimes you can play an add re, which is, you know, major ninth. So it's like do, mi, so, ti, then add re. So we have done it. We have minor servant. You can add the nine. So now for this so, Instead of that nine, you can flat the nine. That is, look at it, do, mi, so, to, look at red and D. Or if it is in so, T, re, fa, Z. All right, so that's your extension, like your, you know, but focus on just the adding the servant, okay? But remember, you can add this Z, that's fine. Then for your do, do, mi, so, T, and you can add re. So the exercise that I will give you actually is, um, we'll start with uh, C, major servant, remember? So this is, then turn that, this do to Re, because remember that Re, so do is what we want to do as our turnaround. So then turn it to Re, then now Re, then so, 
then do you see so it's like we are in this then so do remember i did so instead of so t refa i did refa so t you know then do do me so t all right so the assignment that i'm giving you is that first of all you start with this then you turn it to re then you go to so then you go to do then you turn that do to re again then then so then do then you turn that to re re i seen it so then you do then turn that do to re remember each re is minor seventh then so dominant seventh then do major seventh then turn that to re to so then do dominant seventh turn it to minor seventh okay then then back to where we started so that's the idea now let me tell you how or show you how interesting things like this will be now remember that i told you that in your do you can do do mi so and then you add your t all right and then you can add re now if you have do mi so and then look at it re, you see so t re it's like having do mi so and so t re at the same time it's like having you know root and dominant I mean, look at it. So, do mi so and so ti re goes together when you are putting this extension in jazz. Now, but how does it work? Now, sometimes it's not just about playing all together like this. Sometimes it's about improvisation. So, I'm going to play only major chords now and then improvise with this so ti re. So, each time I play a major, I'm going to play the so ti re, the dominant in my improvisation. So, watch and see. see so i'm playing with that idea of playing the dominant anytime i play the major that's it now let me show you even how more interesting it can be if i play let's say do and then i play something like z major all right so i can do you see how jazz already it is sounding so that's just only on the major, you know, major nine, added, you know, major seven added that nine. You see how the improvisation is already sounding nice. So in major, you can add the re, do mi so ti re. In minor, re fa la do, I can add mi. Re fa la do mi. Oh, re fa la do mi. All right. Then in dominant seven, so ti re fa zi. So ti re fa zi. Okay, so G, Re, Fa, then Z, that is it. So now let me play the assignment that I gave you, which is the Do, then turn it to Re, then So, Do, then turn it to Re, then So, Do. So now, but I'll improvise a bit, not much. You see, I'm adding that Re, Re, Re. Adding that dominant, all right. Then I'm turning re so. Then I'm turning it to re, then so. Re. can see the idea how so if you do that gradually you start to improve upon it and even improvise more and that is the change you know you're doing the same two five 
one, but you are changing the different keys. Anytime you do two, five, one, you turn that one to two, you do five, one, you turn that one to two again, you do five, one. So keep practicing it. As you do that, as you become good at it, gradually, you will start to become very, very proficient when it comes to understanding your two by five ones and how to move them around. Remember that when you do re, so sometimes you can do re, you know, different inversion. Remember the so I can do so t re. Remember, if I do re, so I can add that z. Like that so practice this and uh, post your performance let's see how well you do